Hi guys, Dan here at Trojan Art Painting. Let's take a look at these new uh, Warhammer 40k Chaos Cultists, shall we? Here we got the five stands, one sprue, and here's the instructions. So we got instructions say we have a chaos cultist with auto gun. Apparently three of those. There's auto gun there. There. Uh, auto gun there. Auto gun there. But that's a pretty cool looking bayonet there. And then we got two chaos cultists with close combat weapon and auto pistol. So these three guys here would be the guys with the three uh, auto guns. Then we got this guy here with the big club looking spiky thing. And this guy here with the big flail. It's like a rope with about a, a big spiky ball on the end of it. And they all have a. Oh, look at the face on this guy. Let's see if I can zoom in a little more here. This guy here, he's got like a gas mask, his hair sticking up out the top, and we've got a thing on his eyes, he's got a goatee, he's got a necklace on with some kind of things hanging from the necklace there. Everybody else is facing the other direction, so we'll flip it over. This dude here with the spiky thing has got it just looks like an old school, like World War One type gas mask on, and bandolier, and a big knife. And this dude here is looking kind of oriental with his little thing there, and big flail, another big knife. This guy's got a, he's looking kind of dark angel y. He got a hood on. And kind of, and like the like a respirator with two canister, two filters, one on each side there. And this guy, <laughs> he's got a pointy. Yeah, he, uh, he's got a pointy gas mask on, and kind of a overcoat with big sleeves. Then this other dude's got all kind of all kind of. I don't know what he, what's going on with him, but he's got all a tube down here on his leg and coming out the side of his head and some chain mail there. Pretty nice set. Looks like a really interesting set to paint. Lots of nice little bits molded into them. Not a whole lot of assembly you got to do either. It's just uh looks like you pretty much get what you get there's not a whole lot of mixing and matching you can do without some major you know major green stuffing and kit bashing there's no like extra ammo pouches or canteens or gas mask canisters or backpacks or extra weapons or anything uh, it's pretty pretty basic but that's okay I mean you gotta make a lot of these guys so Still would like to have seen a few extra bits though. I mean, they had had some room. I mean, if they, even if they kept the sprue, kept it to a single sprue, it looks like there's plenty of room in other spots like here and here on this sprue that they could have put an extra couple extra bits. 
But I don't know. Maybe on the other hand, they realize that people have plenty of bits. So maybe that's not really a huge complaint. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna assemble these guys, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, I was just gone about three or four minutes or so. Then I was gonna assemble these guys. I figured, uh, what the heck? I'll just do it on camera. So anyway, let's see what we got here. We so we got. You got these five dudes. They only go one way, so you're not going to be able to mix up the weapons at all. This piece only fits on this guy. It's because their outfits are all so different. I guess if they did it the other way, the, uh, the sleeves wouldn't match. Because like this guy's got these, this guy's got these long kind of droopy looking sleeves on. So there's one. This next guy's kind of got the uh, the guy that's got the the whole uh, dark angel look going on. And that would be this this gun. Plugs into his stomach too. That's kind of different. So there's that guy. Then this next guy, he has the right. He has no left arm at all, and then a right arm coming down. Uh, it it ends in a wrist, and so that's this this one here. The bayonet on it. Man, that's a little. I'm gonna have to put some super glue on that bayonet too to stiffen it up a little. It's kind of a little bit wiggly. So there's that. There's those three. And this dude, he doesn't have no left arm and no head. This guy here, so let's see. It's got to be this guy here. Well, I'll tell you one good thing about these guys. Assembly's not a, a big deal. There they go. They assemble quick. You know the head and the arm was attached. So it wasn't. It was just one piece to do the the head and the arm and the gun. And this guy's complete except for just his uh, just his uh, left arm with the with the uh, auto pistol. And there's really no way to even vary. I mean, the way it plugs in, there's no way to even twist the arm. So yeah. Uh, Big advantage, uh, easy to assemble. I mean, it hadn't been a few minutes since I just opened the box up, and these guys are these guys are assembled, ready to go. About a minute worth of trimming. There's no flash at all, none. I just have to, you know, trim up like where I cut them from the sprue a little. So uh, that's a huge advantage, huge disadvantage. You're not going to get any more poses without doing a lot of work. This guy here with his head attached to the arm, or that guy here with the arm plugs in a certain way. This guy here doesn't even have a sleeve on. He's bare. He's got a bare arm. This guy's got the droopy sleeves. This guy's got bandages and droopy sleeve. This guy has like gauntlets on, or just down to his hand. Anyway, there, there you have it. But if you're doing cultists, a good way to mix some different looking guys into your into your cultist units. So, yeah, I'd recommend them. Thanks for watching. Keep your positive attitudes. Keep painting, and I'll talk to you again soon.